Do you know what today is? Yes. Yes. It is your... Ooh. I'm just kidding you, dude, of course. You forgot. No, we didn't forget. True. We kind of ran out of space of candles. Spider-Man? Really? Yeah. I mean, we got it last year. We just forgot about it. This is a one-year-old birthday cake? At least. <sighs> can we still eat it? I mean, you can. Okay, so, you know I don't like scary stuff. Hey. But it's Halloween, and mm. that girl just disappeared. And that guy has no eyes. She's a and that's cop. Jo with and that's a... Jody Bissett from the original No Worst Place. <laughs> Who are you? I'm your new landlord. Josie Bissett moves in. I... So this is just a big opening cinematic? Yeah, dude. Um... This was pretty groundbreaking. She's just getting straight into it. Hold on, what's going on? Is she wearing clothes? Is that, I mean, is, is that a leotard or she did? She works out. She's she's definitely keto. Um, wee -wee 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 -wee. I've got my sunglasses on. This is all just a big opening thing. This isn't well, even really. It's a police officer with leather. You let go. Leather slap. Ooh, a nurse. She got nice cleavage. Is this a porno? What am I looking at? This feels like a. This. Almost feels like a as random as the intro. This looks like a David Lynch porn. Kind of a redundant David Lynch porn. I bet you're gonna have a little person in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. Um, why, why are children in in, in uh, children are scary? Children are terrifying. Children are terrifying. Is it because the innocent, uh, it's the use of the innocent? It's like the reason why Friday the, th or not, Friday the 13th is scary me. Nightmare on Elm Street. This is just a dream. He isn't real. He isn't real. Well, that scared me. I didn't want to sleep. That, that made it terrifying to go to sleep. I believe that was just, uh, uh, just funded by the cocaine industry. Mm. You need to stay up all night and Freddy's going to get you. Um. Okay, so here we go. He says the odds. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I don't know what to do. Okay. Slow down. Slow down. Um, <laughs> you. The reason why Nightmare on Elm Street scared me was because it made. Oh, do you want one of these? I'm sorry. Um, it's my fucking birthday, and why don't I have a Guinness? Because you didn't say the magic word, and those boop 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 were the magic words. Thank you. Let it settle. That's better. The magic makes it foam more. Mm. Oof. That's what she said. Um. All right. Hold on. How are you? I'm good. I'm old. Do you feel old? A little bit. Where was your dad at your age? Like, like, let's comparison. We hadn't seen him joy. in years. <laughs> he was off uh, on a whale, whale whaling ship in. Uh, at, no, wait, no. No, he's in Connecticut. Doing insurance. Doing an insurance. Making a business. Old nine to five. Good. I went to the stock market today. I did a business. I don't know. I don't remember. I mean, really? Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. Was your dad just kind of always like that age? You didn't see your father like grow older until you were older? No. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that was, that was kind of it. But this is like, this is my last year in the 40s. The 40s. <laughs> Last year in the 40s. Welcome to the 50s. That's actually a good way of looking at it. Yeah. 50s were, I mean, I just Richie Cunningham the fuck out of my 50s, <laughs> <laughs> which means I'll be dyeing my hair red. And then going on to direct a, a really Oscar winning movies. A lot of movies. Um, did you ever think that you would be 49? No, I mean, 49 seems ancient, right? Did, does it? No, it's not. It isn't, but it did at the time. We're young men. I was a kid. Yeah. You don't feel young? 
You're young and virile, getting in the gym. Yeah, yeah. Getting after it. I'm virile. <laughs> Let's not kid ourselves. What? I remember when my dad turned 50, I said, oh, what's it like to reach middle age? He was like, how many people do, do you know are 100? Ooh. And I was like, well, thank you, Mr. Glass Half Full. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, all right, well, shit, that's how it's gonna, that's how it's gonna be. So, I mean, do you... Uh-oh, I gotta kill dogs in this. No, those aren't dogs. What is he? My question exactly. It's another game coming up. Kill dogs. Kill dogs. Um, what... Oh, bad vet. I'm gonna put you down. Is this the, <laughs> just walking around with a syringe? Needle, needle. That's yeah, but it's full of air. Terrible. You shot me air. Uh, shot me air. I can't breathe because you shot me air. I can't hear because you shot me air. Do you, do you feel it's ancient? <laughs> no, it's not, but it feels like it sometimes. Okay, so what do you... But I, I know a lot of people, like, look at Graham McTavish. He's, he's older than me. And he's just ridiculous. 97 years old. 97. He looks amazing for that age. 98 in June. June Never, I only know that he, ha he has two birthdays. It's very strange. Really? Yeah. What do you want to accomplish in 50? Like, what are your, what are your goals? Or what are your goals for your, for your last year in 49? I want to get into the voiceover industry. You got a, a, you I think I want to do some, do some work. <laughs> do some work. I'd really like to be in a video game someday. Okay. I know uh, some people. We've been playing so many games. Like, could you make a call? Okay. I'd appreciate that. Um, oh. Speaking of. I just broke my neck. Good night, everybody. Clack. <laughs> Slancha. Slancha, man. I want to know what you want. Seriously, I, I want to know what you want to accomplish this year. Hmm. I want to be in better shape, good start, okay. than I was when I turned 40. Okay. I've decades. And I wasn't bad when I was 40, but I'm going to try to be in better shape. Because I got a, a lot of inspiration from a lot of guys that are in good shape, and my wife keeps getting better looking, so I got to keep up. Damn it. I mean, if she let herself go, I'd be at steak and shake, just having burgers, fries, <laughs> Sundays. Yeah, she had throw some caramel on that, too, with the hot chop fuck. What is, what is your, like, oh, I can't give this up. This is going to be hard for me to give up. What, like for dieting? Like, or yeah, like, sure. I don't like I don't like to use the word dieting. I just lifestyle that, that, change. You said that has a beginning and no, end. I, I don't think I will give up anything. No, I mean just limit. Oh, okay. You know, no, I don't think you have to do that. I don't think you have to. And I don't do anything that's like, well, I eat an apple pie every Tuesday. <laughs> you know, I just don't do that. No, you're not very indulgent. No, I don't. Don't have that. I mean, I, I, a little goes a long way. I think. At least that's what I've tried to convince Jill. Planes are planes are the are the worst. It's like, would you like the would you like the Toffee crumble bread pudding. I was like, <laughs> do you know what I said? We just got off a plane. Just and, and they they had you know they always have their hot fudge sundae, mm. and it's always like, would you like hot fudge or caramel? And I'm like, yeah, I, yes, I'm both of that. <laughs> Any, do it all. <laughs> Whatever you have is a top. I don't care if you have olives. You put that on there, and I'm gonna eat it. But they had like some kind of a like a pineapple upside down with. Flip. Oh no, it was the uh, jackfruit. Yeah, and I looked and I went. That sounds really good. Yeah, you can get a Sunday anywhere. I said, "How about I get that and then a Sunday?" <laughs> and they went. Did you really? And she laughed, and I went. <laughs> she's like, "You're serious?" I'm like, "I am Beth? serious." Go get me both. Of those. Beth, is that your is that your name tag? Beth, you go get me two of those things. Yeah, I ate two desserts. I was like, "Oh man." Yeah, I didn't eat dinner though. So you just? I just had dessert, and then the sugar hit me. I went. Now I can sleep. <laughs> it's like I hit a sugar bonk, and I slept for like seven hours. It was great. Oh, was that going back from... Yeah, back from London. <laughs> yeah, it was great. No, back from New York. What? Was that you back from New York? I was going to say, because if that's true, then you slept hours. longer than the flight. I woke up back in New York. <laughs> I went back and forth. Well, we no, didn't want to wake you. It was, it was a flight back from London, so... Oh, that's right. You slept <clears> the entire way. I looked but I'll back tell you and... one thing that I didn't plan on doing on my birthday. What? Is playing a, a scary video game. You know I'm not good at this. Wait a second. I we've told you about the the when I was a kid. Tell we'd, us. We'd have Halloween birthday parties. It was very very cool. Had uh, pizzas with triangles, so it looked like a jack o' lantern. Mm. Uh, my mom, very creative woman. Uh, but the big thing was, you know, they'd have scary movie night and oh, everybody getting the sleeping bags and, you know, we, of course the TVs were tiny back then. So, but we'd all sit there. And I remember just in the middle, just sweating, having to pee. 
just praying for sunlight. No, I was terrified because we'd watch a bunch of scary movies and everybody would fall asleep. And I'm like, well, Nobody's clearly like that. if I move or I get out of the sleeping bag, I'll be the first one murdered. Mm. So, what one, uh, what one put you over the edge? Did, did, do, you, do you remember? Because like for me, Nightmare on Elm Street jacked me up. Terrible. Nightmare on Elm Street was, was in there. Uh, Friday the 13th, just a little bit. Uh, the first one? Yeah, but it was it was the kill 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 no 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 kill 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 no no no. To this day, to this day, it was it was just terrifying. But you know, I go back to like we've talked about it. Which isn't you know technically it's more of a thrill, but you know it scared me. Oh, I'd say that's that's uh, a well, not a. What? How do you define horror? It, if it's if it scared me, mm. you know, I mean, there are there, like that. I'm looking at that. That's terrifying. I don't even know what that is. Well, that oh. is an axe to the back. Let's get up. Yeah, now he's down. You know what's funny is I. I don't know. Funny is the right word. Um, I. Ugh. I came in on Silent Hill two. I don't think I've ever played Silent Hill 1. And that's what we are playing today. Yeah. Um, so this is going to be a brave new adventure. Now, I definitely know about the Silent Hill um, universe, I guess I could say. What I love is the theme that Drewski came up with, um, Drewski and Hutch. <laughs> uh, internal conflict and psychological breakdown. Yikes. Exorcist, that was another one. Your mother's in here with his cars. Would you like to leave a message? Yeah, Exorcist um, still holds up, man, the spider walk. Just yeesh. Do you know what got me in the it? It's just that walk when he does that little tickety tickety walk. Yeah, that's scary. Yeah. I. Exorcist 3 with George C. Scott. Did you ever see that? Yeah, his performance was frightening. No, but there's one part. It was. He was He was the one trying to figure everything out. And he does. And it's not good. But there's one scene where this nurse walks into this room. And you're looking down this long hallway. And everything's quiet and you're fine. And then she steps back out. And the the... The, the demon, whatever, in like a shroud with huge, like, uh, you know, clippers, Maybe, yeah. just comes out behind her. I wanted you to see this. Oh! It makes this noise. And look at my arms. To this day. Uh, sorry. So why'd you watch them? Huh? Because it's one of those things. Where I'm like, oh, I gotta. You gotta see what? If I, I gotta see if I'm man enough to get Was through this. Was it for a girl? Was it for it a lady? It wasn't for a girl. No. Doing it for some girl. <laughs> what is going to happen, everybody? <laughs> oh. No, Nora Troy Baker. It's Halloween. Happy Halloween. It's my birthday. It's a Zary. It's on my birthday, and we're, we're at uh, Not So Silent Hill. <laughs> Don't. No, it's not funny. Did you, you needed to get out of that. You needed to what is going to happen, everybody, because you needed to shake that off. Pretty much. I, um, uh, mine, oh, God, always, you have no idea. The, the, raised in church, right? All of that was like, the tenements of those things were very, very real and tangible and often spoke about. So like slasher, meh, didn't really get to me. But if it was anything supernatural, that or, or, to me, or especially having to do with like like exorcisms, yeah, demons, and, demons stuff like that. and stuff like that, I was like, oof, that's that's some that's some real shit. Um, and the power of suggestion is so heavy that like if someone told me it's like, oh man, like, oh like spiritual oppression, uh, they'll feel like a, a a weight on your chest. And if you're laying in bed at night, you're like, yeah, that kind of feels like there's a weight on my chest. Well, there's clearly a demon sitting on me taking a shit. Help me to release this demon. <laughs> So it's stuff like that that what? really, really jacked what? me. Wait, 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 why would the demon be... My question is this, on the psychological breakdown, as, uh, while this loads up... Shining. Shining was another one. 
Here's Johnny. <laughs> really? Shining got me a little bit. Just the girls or just? The little girls. Mm, red rum. And when my brother told me what red rum meant, because I didn't. Spell it backwards? Yeah, it was just little and stupid. Old mm, Kubrick. Red rum. Red rum. Red rum. Why then, like, both of us have visceral memories of like terrifying things and like you get the chills and you're so much so you gotta change the subject. Yeah. Why do we do this? Why? I don't know. Why is it that people... <clears throat> I know people who love... Love it. Just, it's just all about horror. Yeah. Um, my, my cousin Paul uh, loved, he got, he got Fangoria magazine. I remember Fangoria. Was you? this the, he played drummer, drums yeah. for it? Yeah, so he loved rock and roll and drums and... And gore. And, and, and Al Gore. I'm serial. So why do, why do you think we did, I mean, immediately, oh, something, hey. something has died here in snowy Silent Hill. I, I, this is weird, the controllers. Yep, so you need to. So it's, I have to push up for have them walk straight at me. Yeah, there you go. This is before an analog stick, man, and that's the most frightening thing about this game. When I saw Nightmare on Elm Street, because I was trying to prove to a girl that I was, you know, I could hang, Jeanette Mettinger. Yeah. I do. Michelle and Jeanette Mettinger. Uh, Michelle was the girl who gave my first <laughs> real one? kiss. She was the older sister. Jeanette was really? the younger one. How old were you? First real kiss. I mean, nine, ten. I was young. What? Yeah, I was, I was young. And she was like, this is what you, th this is how you kiss a girl. I was like, okay. And so she kissed me and I was like, okay. And you were nine? Dude, I started young, man. I was like, I was, I know what I like, let's go. Um, I was probably 13, and her name was Jill. Isn't that kind of cool? Really? Yeah. Same girl? I tell people, boy, my first kiss was a Jill, and my last one will be a Jill. Oh. Who, who was the other one? <laughs> That's the only people. There's a hooker, and I go, your name and, is Jill. <laughs> your name's Jill, I'm paying you good money. Um, now say in my name. But we were over at their house for a sleepover, because they were friends of the family, and we were watching Nightmare on Elm Street, and it just, messed with me and like it was lights on I had to sleep this? with lights on woof what's going what is this here? what's going on here what's well what's going to happen uh you ought to run yes sir uh-oh uh-oh this is not good you're trapped homie oh no this is your nightmare hey my nightmare oh. hey hey that guy's a got a knife you got a lighter what are you gonna do i don't know but you can't do anything i'm gonna run around in a circle Cause I can't do it. Oh, he got me. Oh, and you're dead. Well, that was a quick game, wasn't it? Well, uh, thanks for joining us for this very special episode of Silent Hill. Uh, that. What? It was all a dream. Oh. Do you want me to see if I can't bring any semblance of meaning by reading the? Do it. <gasps> Happy Halloween. What? The resort town of Silent Hill slips into quiet desolation. Now that the peak of development and growth has passed by, they didn't do a very good job. The memories of a tragic fire seven years ago still haunt the town's folk. Nobody uses that word earnestly. And with the tourist season, I say, I used to say tourist, I have to, every time I say the word tour, I say it very weirdly to me. Because if I say it in my native tongue, it's a tour. No, wow, it's a tour. I'm going to want a tour. You say what? Yeah. You know what's funny is I always I'm a say, a, I think I told you about a golf tournament, but everybody like in Norton, they call it a tournament. Tournament. You call it a tournament, right? I say tournament. They I'm say a tur tournament. I'm a tourist? What, what do I don't you say a tourist. I'm a tourist. 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 Feels weird now. I think, I think I've been out here like in Texas, like, hey, tourist, man. Tourist. Man. Well, whatever those guys are, that season is long past. There is hardly a shadow stirring. Not even a mouse. Hmm. Harry Mason prefers to take late vacations with his daughter, Cheryl. Oh, Harry, what are you into? You know, uh, golf? I'm going to look for my daughter. I like to take late vacations with his daughter, Cheryl. This year, they made plans to visit Silent Hill. You do a little bit of research, even in 1999. There's the internet. You can go, hey, I wonder what Silent Hill's like this time of year. I said, who's there? Due to car trouble, 
They reach the outskirts of the town late at night. Cheryl is sleeping in the back seat as a motorcycle cop roars past his truck. Moments later, Harry spots a motorcycle ah. dumped on the shoulder. There's a there's a naked angel, meat angel. Ah. Meet the angel. Do? Meet the. Don't be there. I, I, this thing's eating my face. Is the map a pentagram? The map is a pentagram. Ooh, that's not a good sign. So. Uh, what do I do? I I, I don't evade. I, I, evade! I have a knife and a gun, and I don't know how to use anything. So you're you. It's picking my head. I can't run. There you go. There you go. Look, I, look! I'm running. I'm bumping into shit. J jump, asshole! You can't jump, asshole. I, I can't. I there you can't, go. There I can't. you go. See? I Just can't figure it out, and you're dead. There is no one to be seen. Game over. It paints an ominous picture. Harry, you Suddenly, a shadow appears in front of the car. Harry turns the wheel in panic. The car slides off the edge of the road and into a gully. This feels like a pitch. Like I'm, I'm, I'm hearing the guy go, and then this happens. Harry yeah. eventually regains consciousness. Cheryl is nowhere to be seen. It is unusually cold. Snow is falling out of season. <laughs> Where did you get this? Wow. This is kind of like, and then this What's happens, that? and then, I don't know, man. <laughs> Radio. Where has Cheryl What's disappeared on, to? He asks rhetorically. Harry walks to a town he sees in the distance. During exploration of the town, he meets Sybil Bennett. Sybil, Sybil, Shepherd. And Sybil Shepherd and Cheryl. Watch them when dawn is due. Sybil and Cheryl. Harry walks to a town he sees in the distance. Uh, Sybil Bennett, police officer for the neighboring town who is investigating the mysterious occurrences. Dahlia Gillespie, a cultist. Gives him the floros, a charm which he claims Somebody help me. can counteract I... the darkness spreading oh, through the town. You just die. No, no, but there's got to be a way to use a knife. I don't know. I don't, I, I'm, touching, I'm touching every button. Well, maybe that's your problem. You d Don't button mash. Figure out what things do and do them. I, but I'll be dead before I can... I so can, go outside. All I can do is run. But I can't. I can't get outside. And... You get frustrated too quickly. Figure it out. You don't understand. I've, I've game over twice. I'm trying every button. When you press, what is the one? L2. L2. The camera angle shifts behind Harry, making it easier to see what was directly in front of him. Ooh. Ooh, yes. Harry could step left and right with L1 and R1 or perform a quick 180 degree turn by pressing both buttons at once. So try that real quick. How does, how does Harry ask? Maybe you don't want to how... fight the, the, Demon meat angel. So just practice moving real quick. There you go. You can step L1, L2. This shows me what I'm looking at. Right. L L1 and R1 is how you. There you the, go. These sidestep. There you go. How do you fight the demon? I'll tell you. I don't, I don't think I, you need to fight the demon did, just yet. Ready? Just do this. If you have yeah. a if you have a weapon equipped, holding R2 readies the weapon. Don't tell my heart, my achy braggy heart. I might not know and understand. <laughs> and if you break my heart, my aggy baggy heart, I might just drop my kid in my hand. And uh, years later, he would have his offspring. Oh, here we go. What's that? What's that? What's that? Um, I have Pressing a knife down in square simultaneously causes Harry to hop backwards a short distance, which can be useful for dodging certain enemy attacks. The X button examines objects of interest. This button also allows Harry to kick damaged and prone enemies in order to finish them off. So there you go. You should be able to beat the game now. No, no it's eating my face. Look, I can't even get down. X. So side sidestep. You're just pushing buttons. I'm I'm sidestepping. I'm hopping back. I'm hopping back. Oh no no I'm and I'm running forward. There you go. And get me out here. Go outside. I'm not trying to get. Out. This is called Death in a Diner. Could would you would you like a sure. like a, a go? I want to see how quickly this comes back to you. Come on. There we go. Yes. Mm -hmm. This seems like a, a, an exercise in patience. Well, sure. Isn't this the way you went out? What was the scariest movie you're like ever like that you've ever seen? Like Serpent in the Rainbow really jacked me up. 
was that? Yeah, it was a weird one. Um, it just kind of like left me uh, not feeling good. But Nightmare on Elm Street still to this day was just like, fuck. It's the scene where they're in school and she looks and she's in the body bag and... Tina? That to this day just like jacked with me, man. Okay, favorite Halloween memory? <sighs> favorite Halloween memory. Um, all right, here's what comes to mind. I was in Paris with some friends. So you're a child? No. I'm kidding. Oh. Um, well, I was, I was at Paris when I was 13. Texas? No, 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 no. Paris, France. I was in Paris, France, and I was with a, a fellow colleague, Mike McFarlane, and then he goes, holy shit, we're at brunch somewhere. He goes like, dude, I just found what we're gonna do tonight. And I was like, what did you find? And he found a little poster for that night. Mm-hmm. Where are you, son of a bitch? So he was like, I know what we're gonna do tonight. I was like, what are we gonna do tonight? And he said this, and he showed me this little poster for an advertisement for a Kiss tribute band that was playing at some uh, bar like in the opera. And we went and go saw like, and they were in full destroyer gear and it was amazing. Didn't speak a lick of English, but I mean, they sang the songs and it was like, we rang in midnight Halloween. No kidding. Listened to a Kiss tribute band and then we hung out with them afterwards and got drunk. It was great. It was, a, it was a wonderful night in Paris. Et vous? What about you? A toi? Been, there have been a lot of good ones. Having it on your birthday, it feels like when people go get candy, it's always like... Did you feel like you were ever competing with your... No, no, it was great. It's like everybody was giving me things. Don't waste your bullets. Oh, you got them. Three, take them down. Um, yeah, no, I never felt like that. I see, like... My 30th birthday party, Jill threw me like a surprise party. Okay. That was pretty cool. I don't know. Must, uh, you never felt like you're in competition with the holiday? Because a lot of people who have a not, birthday not, on the holiday. On certain holidays, I bet it would, you know. Well, like, but Halloween was always great because it just felt like, like I said, you'd go around and everybody gave you a present. It was candy. Did Recently, anyone ever forget? Was it easy for people to forget or did they always remember that it was your No, no. Halloween's different. I mean, it's... It's it's uh, but it's great, you know, especially as a kid. You'd have big parties where everybody dressed up and bobbing for apples and doing all that stuff. It was cool. Um, it's funny that you did. You do you feel it was strange that you didn't uh, like scary stuff? And did everyone expect you to be like, oh, you must like? It's kind of like I'm from New England. Everybody expects I should love seafood. I don't. Chowder? I don't. Especially chowder, clams. No, they look like snots and shells. You're not a very big seafood guy. No. I like halibut. I'll do a halibut just, just for, for the, the halibut. halibut. Dad joke. Um, but yeah, no, I... I oh, oh, he jumped. Buddy, hey, buddy. Hey, hey, bye. Come here, come here. You might want to check how many bullets you got left. I probably got about eight or nine. They don't tell you how many on there. You got to count. You got to do that other part. That uh, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out, like... I bet it's going to cut off all avenues to that place until you get to the last one. So you really think that we should be going up? No, no. I mean, I think it, it'll it probably not let you go until you get to the last one. Ray Bradbury Street. Hmm. So what, you think I should go up Levin, to the left on Finney, and then the left on Midwich? No, I don't know if that'll work either. It, it, it may be just I now you have to go down. Kind of go down through the alleys is the question. So I'm heading in the right know. direction. They, they, they messed up a lot of the streets. Down and found the alley. I get on the sidewalk, too. Get over on the sidewalk so you see the alley. Ooh. Well, they're not going to let you to the alley. Well, by God. Hold on, hold on a second. Did you go too far? No, nope. they blocked you off. They blocked me off. Now, where's Levin Street? It's all the way... God, I always want to press pause. Okay, um... So I got to no, take a on, left on, on... So we were on Levin, but dog... I'm on, so I'm on so take a left. So take a left here. <laughs> Sounds like we're giving... No, no, no. The you traffic take is going to be terrible. You want to take a left me. on Levin. Take a left. That's what I'm doing. Now, we got to find a dog... Like my dog house. It, would it be on the left side of the street or right or... Ah, uh, boo. I thought maybe there was a way in there. Nope. You gotta go back down, man. Down, go down, Levin. You won't take a left on Matheson. 
Little right, go down block. Is the Balkan that was, church only for Balkans? That was the first part. I mean, it, the Midwich Elementary is where it said you had to go next. I'm not scared. I'm not scared at all. Should I be scared? I don't think so. Should I be frightened? <laughs> just... Of what may become of us? Man, the analog stick. I'd love to be in that meeting for PlayStation where they're like, hey guys, what if... <laughs> Now, I know how, how successful the D-pad is. Yes, the D-pad is very successful. What if we added an analog stick? My God, Smithens? Simmons? Smithens? Wait, wait, Smithens. Hold on, hold on. That Smithix? One. Looks like that one was knocked down. You see that? Where? Mailbox. Yeah, but that could be just because of an angry postman. Which there are many. Especially in this postman. era. Yes, yes, sir. What is going on at the post office? Why do people wear shoes? Won't go! Come on! It's almost over! You can make Drew laugh at almost anything. Because I feed him. All right, yeah, left on Matheson. Let's just see what... Let's just cut off all avenues until we figure out what... Go left. I'm going leftish. With this damn snowstorm, I, I can't see shit. Yeah, and he's not really appropriately dressed for this either. You oh, notice no, that? No, I think you need to take a right at the next street, right? Gee. Yeah. Going down Bachman. Want to go down Bachman Road? Go by Post and Market. <laughs> We're in right. old Silent Hill. So stay right. Hi, I'm Phil Kensington. And I'm Marty Kensington. Welcome I to Silent Hill. Oh, my Home God. Home of our new everything store. Because you need everything in this, in this town. Do you have streets collapsing at your every turn in a snowstorm? That's too bad. <laughs> Maybe you should have brought a warmer jacket. Maybe you also need something to help you get past Red X's in the streets trying to get you from, keep you from getting your daughter at Midwich Elementary School. Have you been to Midwich? It's a blast. <laughs> have a blast. What the oh, shit? God. Bam. You know, Do you have... Of are there angel? Are there featherless me? birds attacking your head? Well, come on, just shoot them. I guess that you would be good. You need three bullets per per meat angel. Maybe you need to find the meat angels and maybe look for an orifice or two. You know, typically, bad guys means post and market. Yeah, we're uh, it's we're, closed. we're located right next to the post and market in downtown Silent downtown Old Silent Hill. That's right. Come on down and get your fresh vegetables. Oh, oh, hey, 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 how's it going? Hey, don't shoot. Hey, I want to sell you some cigarettes. Oh, buddy. He was walking, not flying. I feel like I caught him on a smoke break. <laughs> That's what I mean. That's why I was like, hold on, there's some, oh, there's bullets. Just why don't you slowly approach those boxes of bullets? I'm... Hey, yes, I'd like those. Hey, let me do, oh, kick it, yeah. Uh, I would reload if you have to reload. I gotta load. Wow, this game is absolutely... I mean, people must have been just horrified, like, terrified. You think so? No. I'm being oh. sarcastic. Facetious. 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 I'm being facetious. What's a movie that you've always been... S <gasps> What's the horror movie that... Um... No, no, I have... A, I want... Go. Please. Favorite... Halloween candy. I know you're not a big candy guy, but you had to have something that, like, there was one. There was one candy in particular. I, I was complete OCD when I would get my candy, dump it out, mm -hmm. and I'd have to separate it. Like, okay, my colors, my texture, Twizzlers, by what? no, no, the types. Okay, well, Snickers brands. over here, brands, I go brands. Um, throw, you know, anything that was unopened or like homemade. I got a chocolate bar. I got a quarter. I got a rock. We, I grew up in the era when it was like, ah, yeah, these people put razor blades in apples. Of course. And you bite into it and your face gets cut off. Acid with nerds candy. Remember that yeah, one? It was um, all fucking wrong. I did not know that one. Yeah. I remember people gave us popcorn. Up. I remember this one lady, found out later she was the nicest lady, but she'd always make homemade caramel apples. My brother, and we just throw them away. You found out later, she's like the nicest person. The children the love my apples that I make for them every year. Every year so I make... So it burns my fingers and it hurts my arthritis, but my the children love it. Children love it. There you are, Nolan. Yeah, you know what we do, Norma? We throw them in the trash. Because you're a crazy bitch with razor blades. 
I don't trust the you. Caramel hides the blade. It's very sweet going down. You take a bite. Take a bite. What was your favorite candy? <laughs> Here's. Let me give you some context. We didn't celebrate Halloween in your house. In, in hey, our house. Were you Jehovah's Witness? No, just like we had a Jehovah's Witness in our neighborhood. And they didn't celebrate Kept Halloween. Kept the lights off, and everybody was like, "Should we burn the house down?" <laughs> that, that was my family. Seriously. Really? Not Jehovah's Witness. But you Witness. didn't have the, the, the religious excuse. You just were no, like... No, 100%. They were you were just like, like, fuck Halloween. No. Um, okay, so here, here are my phases. I was like, why don't we do Halloween? And it was really kind of weird going to elementary school. And like, I remember vividly, fourth and fifth grade especially. Because first, second, and third grade was at a private school, Christian school. So they didn't do anything. Fourth and fifth grade was public school. And two of the worst years scholastically for me. And I remember like everybody dressed up, everybody bought candy and I didn't. And I, I kind of got picked on. And I remember going to my parents, like, why? Is like, cause we don't celebrate that. That celebrates evil things and that's it. Oh, right. Okay. So super on the other side of it. So as opposed to just going, hey, let me teach you the difference between this and why they're doing this and what we believe and why that's okay. And this doesn't challenge that at all. It was, you have to absolutely go the opposite direction. Mm. And I really struggled in fourth and fifth grade with like the way that they corrected in at that time in, in, in where I went to school at least was if you acted up, if you, if you were a troubled challenged kid, authority. challenged authority, they separated you. And so the rest of the class would be all like in their desks here and I was pushed all the way out. And it was the worst thing to do to kids. But that's what that's the way they dealt with me. So then you doubled down on Halloween. I was like, Fuck, I'm gonna be the kid that's not dressed up. It's like, what's well, just up, Baker? It's like, cause my parents wouldn't let me. Like, that's emasculating. So you could have come dressed as Jesus. And, and everybody, like, I'm Jesus. I'm here to save all of you. Yeah. And then especially they would you, me to a cross. scary witch. <laughs> so then you, I get older, and then it's like, then I hit my phase where it's like overt Christianity where it's like I'm going to wear all the t-shirts and I'm going to go super loud and proud and then I became a hater of Halloween and I'll tell you why oh it's terrible do you know it's rooted in Satanism and if you celebrate you're a Satanist and I went that far to the extreme it was bad man so I've always had like this weird relationship with Halloween and it wasn't until did, did you know by the way that the next day November 1st is called All Saints All Day All Saints Day and so it celebrates 100% yeah. But it was like, there wasn't that delineation. It, it was the way that I was raised was, it was very dogmatic. And there was, you don't ask questions. You don't challenge authority. This is just the way it is. And it wasn't until I was much older that I was like, well, no, wait a minute. You start learning the history of what it's all based in. And you're like, this is a 100% manufactured thing. Yeah. And then you start going, oh, okay, so I can separate. And now I can give myself the freedom to have fun. And so it wasn't until I was really an adult that... I started having fun, but so you're an adult. So when you mean when when Halloween actually became an excuse for women in their 20s and 30s to dress like trashy version uh, of whatever. Strippers. I'm trashy Jesus. I'm trashy. <laughs> I'm trashy nun. Yeah. I'm I'm trashy. Uh, uh, like cocktail you just want to wear a short skirt. Mm, I'm trashy Frank. cheerleader. Yes, you are. <laughs> so, By the way, I'm uh, uh, Uncle Nolly's born on Halloween. Big fan of the anything trashy or horish for Halloween. You know, make yourself happy. Do it. By the way, my favorite candy is Reese's. What? On hold on, hold on. Halloween. That was, yeah. What'd you call them? Reese's. Uh, no, 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 no. What'd you say? Reese's. Reese's? Re Reese's. No. Did I say Reese's? Like Reese's monkey? <laughs> no. Reese's. Reese's. <laughs> Reese. Like, hey, it belongs to Reese. Reese's. Reese's peanut butter cup. Reese's. Reese's? <laughs> Reese's, what did I say? <laughs> Go with it, own it. How do you, how do you call it? Chocolate peanut butter cup. Sure, what do you call it? It's okay. Reese's. There's no wrong answer here. Reese's. When I think about it, it's Reese's. Reese's peanut butter. Right. But all the way, you know, we used to, oh, I know why. What are the small ones called? Well, that's what it was. We used to call them Reese's species. <laughs> Re Which Reese's were made pieces. popular by what? M&M's. Negative. There was a certain movie that, that uh, featured that, that candy prominently. Oh, uh. Get there. Because there's a very special part of that movie where they celebrate Halloween. E.T. Bingo. Reese's. And I remember going, why don't we do that? That looks like fun. 
Because aliens are devils. So never in my life, ever in my life, never, not once, not once, did I ever trick or treat. Not once. Right? Are you serious? Dead serious. Never did. Not once. I didn't have a birthday party until I was like 30. Will you allow your son to trick or treat? Dude, what a great question. I know. Uh, Will you? Because one of the joys of my life was the first time, because it's just playtime. They get to dress up. Yeah. And just go. You know, actually, we were just at the the conventions in in, uh, South Africa and and Glasgow uh, a little bit ago, and, and... I remember walking through going, it's like Halloween every day. Mm-hmm. This is so great. Yeah. This is so great. So much fun. Because I never got, in my house growing up, just opposite. Had no religious significance, pro- negatively or, or positively. Sure. Uh, at all. It was, it's my birthday. We get to dress up and our parents eat, let us eat a little too much candy. It's going to be fun. You know, it was parties and that. That's all it was. It had nothing to do with any of that. So I remember, the, you know, at, you know, at the time when I didn't really dress up or go to parties anymore when I had kids, and they were so excited to get their little costumes on. Tweet, tweet. Oh, so I'm, I don't want to. I'm curious to see how you feel about that. One hundred percent. I just got really sad. Why? I'll be in London. He's still too young. Next year. Next year, you shouldn't be anywhere. Okay. He's still too young. Okay. He'll he'll walk still around. Still dress he, up. Still dress he up. He won't right? really. He'll dress up. Oh my God! The first one that we had with Cooper was born in January, so the first one he's ten months old maybe. Right. And we just put him in a little bear costume and propped him up on the couch. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and he was hysterical. Little costume was great, but I mean, when they want to go out and get to walk up and say, "Look who I got!" Oh, that'll be next, next year. year. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and you'll find, yeah, you'll, I'm never missing Halloween again. Okay. Matter of fact, um, uh, Jill's cousin and, her, and his wife, they come out and trick-or-treat a lot of times here with us because we have so much fun. Um, their daughter's birthday is a couple days before mine, and they have, we have a joint birthday, but to let to see them, and now they're getting a little older, so... You don't have an excuse anymore. <laughs> no, I, I really like no. dressing up. No, like, you, well, I told you that story in the Adams family. Well, there were, I have pictures. Uh, I have to find them where Jill and I were Morticia and Gomez, right. and then a couple of years Morticia. back, I had to be Uncle Fester. <laughs> How did I go from Fester and Jill was uh, the granny? And we're like, we're not that old, but you know, they're the younger couple. They're you know, he, he's, they're in the mid thirties, so they got to be Morticia and Gomez. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was fester. I got to wear a bald cap. I like that. That was fun. I don't think I kept I, it on for four days. I think the first time I ever dressed up was uh, Travis and Laura famously had like like big Halloween parties. Really? It wasn't until that. Pam and I one year went as um, Luke Wilson and Gwyneth Paltrow from. Uh, oh, I don't know why, oh, yeah, There's a picture of that. That was pretty good. That was that was that was pretty good. I think it's fun. I think it's it, it, you know. It I mean, really I, is. I, one of the cool things is that uh, my my buddies, my golf buddies, do at our club that they'll be like. I think it's the Wednesday before Halloween, and uh, I want to do it. Is guys just dress up and p- play this tournament? But you have to wear whatever. So uh, guys are coming those big sumo things and they're swinging the clubs and it's just drinking and ridiculous. Yeah. And I, I remember doing it one time with the, these two brothers and they both dressed like pitbull and brothers and they didn't realize that he. I didn't know you were doing pitbull. Do, and it was just the mockery. We just that's too too them. many pitbulls. Of course. <laughs> well, one was an actual pit bull, and he mauled a friend of ours who dressed like a steak. It's a terrible joke. I would much rather celebrate your birthday than to play this game. Um, how about Halloween? Yeah. We go break open some of that scotch we got in Glasgow. Yeah. And we'll and we'll 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 wear kilts. That'll be our costume. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Great hang. The McDonald clan. <laughs> we'll get Big Macs. Big Macs, quarter pounders.
<laughs> no. Um, well, we leave you with that wonderful image. Cheers, me, Slancha man. Slancha, happy Halloween. Happy birthday, dude. Thank you. What do we play next? So we... We didn't have any forks. I don't feel good. Oh boy. <laughs>